Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Jeff, we had a beautiful day today. You're yes. tracking some warmer days coming our way soon. It is going to be warm through the weekend, a little bit warmer than our early October averages, but nothing that's uh, too out of control. And uh, if that's not to your liking, just wait. Next week, we're going to drop the temperatures back down, and it's really going to start feeling like October should. Our forecast highs will be above that average of 81 heading through the weekend. We'll likely be in the mid-80s tomorrow and on Friday. And then by the time we hit Saturday and Sunday, well, we're talking about temperatures upper end of the 80s, not quite 90 degrees. I don't think we'll see a return to that, but definitely some warm stuff. Before the cool down comes beginning of next week, by Monday we're back around the 80 degree mark and it looks like most of the rest of next week we'll see afternoon highs in the 70s with some cooler mornings in the 50s. You will notice over the next several days and into the weekend return of a southerly wind. That's going to bring some mugginess back into the picture. Nothing that looks super excessive, but uh, you may be able to tell the difference in how the air feels. With that next push, though, of cooler air coming in early next week, we are going to push the humidity back out of the area so we get a nice drop off into the comfortable range on the muggy meter as well with those cooler temperatures coming next week. Things are quiet. Uh, other than the temperatures, we've got clear conditions. Way 31 triple Doppler still looking at a slim rain chance coming in on Friday. But as I'm going to show you here with future radar, this is a new update from what I had for you at four five and six o'clock. And it does not look any soggier than it did then. Not that it looked particularly wet at that point in time either. Let's take you through it though. We've got mostly clear skies out there right now overnight into tomorrow morning. There will be some areas of fog. Maybe some patches of low clouds that redevelop, but not expecting that's going to be a big problem for your commute into work tomorrow. This is the noon hour, and we will see that morning cloud cover break up just a little bit. We'll go partly to mostly sunny tomorrow afternoon, and it is going to be warm, and it will be dry as well. We headed to your Friday, though. Here we go. Notice the clouds are starting to move more from a southerly direction in the next couple of days. That's some of that moisture coming back into the picture, and there is going to be a little upper-level disturbance that will kind of track across the general region on Friday, and that may be just enough to initiate a couple isolated showers. We take you into the early afternoon on Friday. Here's one o'clock. Notice there are a few spots where some of that activity pops up, but it's extremely limited in coverage. So I'm not expecting this is going to be a big deal for any location. Probably don't even need rain gear uh, as you head out Friday morning. And the good news is most of this will be kind of enhanced a bit by the warmth Friday afternoon. So as we start to cool heading into Friday evening, we will see any shower activity quickly fade just in time for high school football games. All right, let's talk tropics. We now have major Hurricane Kirk middle of the Atlantic Ocean, though, and that's where we like to see these systems where they're only impacting the fish. Latest forecast update, though, from the National Hurricane Center now has this a very strong Category 4 storm here in the next couple of days. However, it stays again middle of the Atlantic Ocean. In fact, no major land areas will be impacted by this the way it looks. Our tropical depression, uh, which developed here in the last 12 to 24 hours off to the southeast of Kirk, now Tropical Storm Leslie. This is also forecast to become a hurricane, but again, the track keeps it out over the open waters of the Atlantic. So this appears to be no threat to land. And even better news, our area of disturbed weather here in the southern Gulf that we've been talking about in the last few days for possible development. Well, the chances for that now appear to be going down. Uh, now only a 30% chance that something may form here in the next seven days. So that is some fantastic news. Of course, we will continue to closely watch it for you and let you know if things change. For us tonight, comfortable down around the 60 degree mark. From there, we'll warm into the 70s by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and we'll be back in the 80s tomorrow afternoon. Most of us somewhere in the middle 80s for your highs, which is a bit warmer than average for this time of year. Here's your Wake 31 storm tracker 10 day. Your 20% chance for rain Friday may be the only chance for any shower activity we see over the next 10 days. We can look dry and warm with highs running in the upper 80s and then next week we'll bring the temperatures down, falling back into the 70s for highs and again expect to see some much cooler mornings getting way down into the 50s for those overnight lows.